I decided to deviate and uh, do a poem that I could recite for you, and it's, it's Paul Ernst Dunbar. Uh, and uh, the way that I connected Paul Ernst Dunbar to Virginia is that in 1923, yeah. when yeah. we were born, <laughs> um, they started uh, the Paul Ernst Dunbar Middle School in Lynchburg. Uh, and so Lynchburg uh, has several schools, uh, and a park and, and historical placards uh, to named after Paul Ernst Dunbar. Now, how he's connected to me and Frederick Douglass is that uh, in 1893, uh, Frederick Douglass was one of the main people who uh, brought the Black Coalition or delegation to the Chicago World's Fair, uh, and he was he uh, was part of the the committee to line up all the entertainment and all the things going on at the Chicago World's Fair. And Paul Lewis Dunbar was a new poet on the scene, and he invited Paul Lewis Dunbar to read at the Chicago World's Fair. And so Chicago, uh, uh, Paul Lewis Dunbar read a poem called Ode to Ethiopia. Right? Now, I'm not going to do that poem. I'm going to do a poem uh, called uh, Ships That Pass at Night. Now, ships that pass at night is important because Paul Ernst Dunbar, in talking to Frederick Douglass, and in reading his narrative, read a poem that Frederick Douglass wrote at one of the lowest moments in his life. He was on the farm of, of a slave breaker, Edward Cove. Now, how that ties to today is that uh, Kendra McDonald was upstairs teaching, found poetry, and she read two found poems from uh, uh, Donald Rumsfeld, if you can imagine it, right? Huh. And so when she was reading it, I was like, oh my God, poems by Donald Rumsfeld, right? But Paul, uh, Donald Rumsfeld actually owns, or owned, his family owns it now, the house of this place where Frederick Douglass was sitting when he wrote the poem. <laughs> Donald Rumsfeld owns it, and he called this place, he renamed it because it was, he calls the house Mount Misery. Hmm. Now, what Paul Ernst Dunbar did in following after Frederick Douglass, he wrote this poem called Ships That Pass It. Out in the sky, the great dark clouds are massive. I look far out into the pregnant night where I can hear a solemn booming gun that tells me the ship I seek is passing, passing. My tearful eyes, my soul's deep hurt are glassing, for I would hail and check that ship of ships. I would stretch out hands, cry aloud. My voice falls dead a foot from thine own lips. And but its ghost that has reached that vessel, passing, passing. O earth, O sky, O ocean, still surpassing. Is there no hope for me? Is there no way that I might catch and check that speeding bark, which out of sight and sound are passing, passing? Thank you.